Oh crap, I just realised uh, that was wrong. Um, whoops. <laughs> I need to change that, hold up. <laughs> Let's fix that. Um, so, if you lot, basically, sorry that we haven't uploaded in a while. Basically, I've been trying to fix my the OBS recording software because it hasn't been working properly. I've got a list of some I video ideas for the Idle Miner series, which I know we haven't done a video on in a long time. But I promise there will be videos coming soon. The Roblox Simulator, which we're about to do decoration part three right now. Um, there are more to add to all the, all the each of these series, but I just haven't written them down yet. But they're in my head. I just haven't confirmed them yet. Uh, I've got many more, so don't worry. Um, if you go to the first, top link in the description, you'll see this link here: roblox.com slash library slash number blah blah blah. This is a thing I built on my own parcel account, obviously the account name is very old from many years ago, so just ignore the cringy name. Uh, this network that I'm doing this video, you have to build itself. If you want to build your own, that is fine, I will show you at the end how you can do that. Or, no, I won't show you at the end, but I'll show you a very quick method. But this is a nice, simple um, way of going about it. So anyway, let's get into this. So, first of all, obviously you want to load up your Roblox Studio project, and we want to start with this base plate thing right here. So open up your workspace and click on base plate, and we will now press F2, it's a shortcut to rename, and we will call this terrain, or something like that. This terrain thing here, we can delete that. We really, we just don't need that. <laughs> Um, it's locked. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about deleting that. Don't delete it then, I guess. Um, oh, that's because it's part of the editor, I think. Anyway, with this terrain, we can actually do some scaling. So if you go onto your home and click scale, you will see you get some of these bars. Which you can drag if you green goes up and down, red goes right and left, and that, and then blue goes, you know, it depends what way you're looking at it, really. But we're mainly going to be using green, just to sort of flatten out the surface a bit. And make sure your terrain is anchored up here, this stops it from falling. Um, next up, we're going to want to make this a uh, different colour. So click on colour, click this little here. I mean, you can actually get better colours if you don't click that, whoops. <laughs> um, if you click on this, you get some basic colours here. If you right click, is it right click? You yeah, know, if you go to model and click color, I can't remember how I did it now. Oh yeah, sorry. If you click view, open properties, you can click color here. This little box and it'll give you like, you know, full control over the color. So I'm gonna be going for like a little greeny color. Not too green, obviously, but any green will do. And just click OK. Now, as you can see, something that sucks is we got these little annoying textures right here. We don't, like these Lego like things, so we can clear our properties now. If we go to model, we can click um, surface over here and just click uh, smooth no outline and select the surface. For some reason, it's not correctly doing it. Um. If I just do smooth, you know, mine's not properly doing it, but, alright, okay, mine isn't doing it, if yours isn't doing it, then I don't know why it's not doing it, but one way we can fix this is rotate it, click rotate and grab the red button, oh yeah, and then click on model and tick this little box here next to rotate and change this to, mine's at 45, that's what mine's at. And just change it to be rotated like this. That should be smoother. And scale it down. You press F to go closer to it. You know, just make sure that you're scaling it. And spread it along that axis. There we go. There we go. Now you've got nice flat up the sides. Obviously, the side is the only thing that's not flat, but they won't see the side. Because next, we are going to 
go to home click on toolbox and you should on this link you should see a get button if you click that and you click on this button here in the toolbox you go to my models and you will see it simulate the terrain let's grab that um normally i would say don't use models off of oh we want to turn on for rotate now by the way off of the toolbox but this is perfectly safe i made it um don't worry um and i don't i don't want any credit for this you lot can just take it if you want to make something like this yourself this just consists of loads of parts so as you can see kind of something like this but so like all the parts just sort of go together and to like make it um you can go more complicated by using 3d softwares such as blender for an example if we turn on collisions we can just want to make sure we get that perfect um make sure it's anchored as well which it should default come anchored um if you want to make more realistic terrain use blender definitely it's free and it's a 3d software which people use for things like that um anyway what am i doing yes yeah, so duplicate this and just move it across you can rotate it a bit if you want make it look a bit different but you know i'm not going to do that because it's just you know it's tutorial and it's a lot of tutorial time that gets taken up you can't do it doesn't have to be, mine's not going to be perfect because it's a tutorial it's not you know and just keep doing that all the way around and eventually you'll get to the end because we've now got a lot of these things that should probably glitch into each other if you do yours as like being rotated like this i'll show you i'll grab palms F it and control D. Um and control D again. If we just like sort of like this time with this one, rotate it a little bit, not like that. Nor like that. You know, and just kind of do that all the way across. Then we're gonna get a more lot more a lot more realistic looking wall, aren't we? But I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna do it in straight lines because I don't have the time. Anyway, now we're going to select our terrain and all of our terrain parts by pressing the terrain and then hold down shift and click the top and press ctrl G to group it in all into one model and rename this terrain. Awesome. So now we will have pretty much all our terrain done. Now obviously we're going to want spawn points, aren't we? Not just like random. So now what we will do is we will click on model and underneath effects you'll see a little button click that and it will give you a spawn point i recommend turning on collisions and just selecting it and putting it down now just put it plonk these wherever you want your spawn area to be um if you don't want it to have this little picture just open it up and click decal and then delete it it'll still work don't worry and um if you want this to be small obviously you can scale it to be however you want i'm actually going to make mine small and if you don't want yours to even be visible you can open properties where it says transparency make that one and they won't even know it exists uh now i'm just going to control d that and again and you know the more times that you do this the more spawns you'll obviously have and now uh, grab all these Group them as the told you, and these will obviously be spawns. Now, there you are, that's pretty much the premise of the video. I mean, I know the video's only been 10 minutes of me recording, it'll be like 9, no, I've probably just been gone 10 with editing. Because there's only a, there's, I don't even know if it, there'll probably be more than that. So, a very quick video. Um, now, this is pretty much the end of the video, that's all I wanted to show you, really, but. I just want to go through some stuff. So obviously, click File, Save to Roblox, or not. 
I'm going to qu I want to quickly go through this review. Lot. So we've just ticked decoration off of our list. Next video, we're going to be making orbs, which players will be able to collect to um, up their speed. Now I'm just going to, you know, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, which will like, automatically give them a boost. Um, and that will be. Um, oh, I'm working on this elevator video. Don't worry, that is coming for all of those of you that are doing the idle miner series. Um, that's on its way. Just been some problems with it because I've had to upgrade it to a different version of Unity, and um, it's just basically some stuff's gone a bit weird. And, but yeah, I'm nearly done with it. Um, uh, besides that. We've got a lot to do on the idle miner, a little bit to do on Roblox, there's more to add to this, I've got way more videos, same with this, just haven't added them yet. We've got an offline production video coming out for Unity, which will be out not long, to be honest. I might just, not, not as a series, but I might just do a genuine Unity video on how to make offline production. It's not as hard as it sounds, I'm just going to save that. Now, just minimise that because I'll probably be recording another video later. Um, anyway, I think that is it now for the video. Um, I, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. So this video hasn't been the world's best produced. Just been quite busy. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.